funny. I know this is the second time you guys are seeing me in my tick shirt, but I love it so much. I don't even care, no shame. Today I'm super excited because I feel like I have not done a shoe unboxing video for you guys in like 20 years. It's probably been like a week. It's a long time for me. So I'm super excited to do an unboxing video of some new shoes I got from Soul Struck. Oh my God, there's an insect and it's trying to harvest my organs. Was there just an insect on my neck? I'm so freaked out right now, true story. Wow, there's something on top of here. What is it? Oh, I know what this is. I started like collecting all my antique photographs and like taking them out to get to get framed. I can show you, ah, this is so great. I'm glad I have this sitting here. Random interlude. I just bought this new antique photograph when I was in Austin last week. Isn't this cool? Isn't it? I'm about to take it to have it, to have it framed. I guess that's why it's in my shoe box, but. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys that because it's not every day that you find a cluster of dead men inside of your shoe box. As usual, I love saying this. I'm super excited about these shoes because we all know I'm just so excited about everything. And they are a pair of Jeffrey Campbells because really Jeffrey Campbell is pretty much the brand of shoe that I wear. Pretty much the only brand of shoe that I wear, right? But it's okay, cause you know, it's okay to splurge on shoes when you pay 60 cents for your, for your shirts, right? Right? I justify it. These are brand new spiked Litas and this is the shoe box. Does anyone care about the shoe box? I kind of think it's spiffy. I've wanted a pair of shoes like this literally for all of time and I just ordered the all over Spike Litas about what, two weeks ago, I guess now. But I've always wanted this pair and it's kind of like the original Lita Spikes. If y'all have seen, a lot of people have done unboxings probably for them by this time on YouTube. But they are the Spiked Litas, the original Spiked Litas. However, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Right. These are the new CMYK spiked Litas. And I honestly like these a lot better than the original spiked Litas. So I'm glad I never bought the ones that are like silver and black. I mean, they still look really badass. Don't get me wrong. These, in my opinion, are better than the original spiked Litas because you guys can probably see, right? These are a black on black spike. And we all know how much I love wearing black clothing, right? They're kind of more, how do I, how do I say it? I like them better. Can we, can we just go with that? But there's also like lots of different choices this time around. You don't have to get the gunmetal spikes. If you go to Soulstruck, they have Lita CMYK spikes and they have pink spikes, like an electric pink. They have like an electric lime green. They have white leather Litas with the black kind of gunmetal spikes. And then they have the black on black ones, which are the ones that I got. The white ones were so tempting, but I just didn't feel like I had as many outfits personally in my wardrobe to wear the white ones with. I absolutely adore these shoes. I have worn them once already. I'm sorry. These are so super comfortable. A question I get asked commonly about my crazy shoes is do I drive in them? I find that Lita's are super easy to drive in. I cannot drive in my damsels, however. I wouldn't even recommend that. Lita's, however, no problem to drive in. Super easy to drive in. So you can just put these on and not even worry about it. They're very, very comfortable. I say that about every pair of Lita's that I have. Literally, these are super comfortable. Like you don't even really realize you're wearing heels. I wear these out to a lot of concerts, to shows, hanging out with friends, walking up and down the streets of Austin, which if you live anywhere in Texas, you know, that's like hill country. So you're like walking up and walking down things. And I've never tripped or fallen or had any problem wearing Lita's. And then the other question that I get a lot is kind of about age appropriateness. And I get a lot of questions from you guys that are a little bit younger and you're asking like, Hey, do you think Lita's are appropriate? You know, I'm 13 or I'm 16. And I really do feel like Lita's are an appropriate shoe for both younger and older girls and guys. By the way, guys, if you don't know, Soulstruck offers a brand or a section of Jeffrey Campbell shoes called First by Jeffrey Campbell. And they're actually men's shoes. 
by Jeffrey Campbell. So they're Lita's, Damsel's, whatever you guys want who would want to wear these shoes. They do make them for men. And I never thought about this because a lot of girls who would need larger sizes, you may want to give First by Jeffrey Campbell a try because even though they're men's shoes, I believe that they offer the higher range sizing like 12s, 13s, stuff like that. I'm not sure about if the CMYKs are available in the First line. Um, I honestly have not done the research on that yet but I know that Lita is and everything else and Soulstruck is the only website that I've seen that offers the first line by Jeffrey Campbell. So if you're a guy or a girl with larger feet hit up Soulstruck. The other thing about sizing that I would say and I don't know if my feet are shrinking every time I've ever heard anyone be like my feet are shrinking I'm like are you a mutant? How does that happen? But now I'm starting to see that maybe it does happen because forever I have been ordering seven and a halfs in Jeffrey Campbell brand shoes, but I don't know. I had to send a pair back because they were seven and a half. So they were way too big. And the all over Spike Lita's that I ordered are seven and a half. So I have to wear socks with them. I can't just go barefoot. I'm kind of one of those, like, I guess, hickified swamp people. Sometimes I don't like to wear socks in my shoes, okay? Sometimes I like to just slap these puppies on, walk around for a little bit. So I don't really like to be required to wear socks. So I went ahead and I just ordered these in a size seven and I'm glad I did because the seven fits perfectly. I still have enough room to wear socks if I want to, but I'm not required to. So that's good. And I honestly would maybe recommend sizing half of a size down on shoes like this that are the spikes. So either the CMYKs here or the Lita spikes, which I did the last review on, I would recommend almost sizing half a size down because they are just a little bit heavier with all the embellishments. They're not uncomfortable at all to walk in, but they do add a little bit of weight, so it kind of makes your foot shift a little bit. These are gonna give a little bit, so I would I would recommend sizing down a half size. So like I said, normally I'm a standard size seven and a half, so I size down half a size down for the sevens and I'm really happier that I did. I feel like that the Lita's are gonna be a staple shoe for quite some time, so they're a good investment, I feel, if you're really looking to spice up your wardrobe, have something that's a little bit different. Definitely don't be afraid of the investment because I really don't see Lita's disappearing from being a style staple for quite some time. Everybody is just crazy about them still. I'm still crazy about them. Honestly, I'd probably buy another 20 pairs of Lita's. They're that awesome. I don't really have that much else to say about them except for they're very comfortable. I love the black or gunmetal spikes. Personally, a lot better than the silver spikes. So I'm kind of glad I waited for that. I'm gonna try them on for you guys and I'm gonna walk around in them for a little bit. I will be linking where you can get these down below. I'm gonna link you to this exact pair, but if you click on the other colors or whatever, you'll be able to see like the white ones that I mentioned or the ones with pink spikes or green spikes. Right now, I do believe they still have all of the sizes in every single color. I know they start at size five and I believe the largest size may be a 10 or 11 for the women's but like I said go check out first by Jeffrey Campbell if you need larger sizes it might work for you they are made exemplarily well I have definitely had some Jeffrey Campbell shoes now for over a year I wear especially the Lita's all the time they hold up really well there's never any problem with the heel or the sole of them and they always come with dust bags and little styrofoam so like I say my general care for these shoes is always especially the spiked ones to rewrap the heel in the styrofoam every single time and put them in the dust jacket because that's going to ensure that you're going to get the best life and the best quality and not scratch the leather. So it's important when you buy a pair of expensive shoes to take care of them, obviously. Did I sound like your mom right there? Was I giving you like the mom spiel? Take care of your nice things, honey. Uh, yeah, no one's mom sounds like that. I sound like a creepy, creepy elf. So I'm going to slap these puppies on and do a little jumping around for you guys like I always do so you can see how they fit and see how they look and we'll have, we'll have a good old time.
please take a minute to subscribe. I would love to have you here on the swamp. Stay with me, I promise. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. I'll take good care of you. Does that sound creepy? If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. Bye!